Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another edition of HRD 631, The Adult Learner, week number eight, which is, as you know, the week before spring break starts on Monday, March 6th. So still have a couple of days to get caught up with week number seven. And let's get right to the materials, because I can tell you it's Saturday morning. I live in Topsom, Maine. We have about 10 inches of snow already, and the lights are flickering. So I want to make sure that I get this video recorded and I get it out to you. So let's get right to it. Week number eight is, as I said, it's the week before we have spring break, and I'll talk about that just in, in a minute. So to get us going... The video that I'm recording right now will be inserted here. This week we have really interesting topics, critical theory, postmodern theory, feminist perspective on adult education and adult learning. All of these are fascinating subjects. So what I'd like you to do, the nuts and bolts, read chapter 11. Take a look at this electronic reserves article. Click on the blue link below. And in the syllabus, I had that we were going to be reading excerpts from each one of these. I still would like people to do it. It's about learning from others. Um, you can pick one of these, go to the electronic reserves and read that. And I would just like to tell you, we're not going to be, there's not going to be a discussion forum on this, but I would like you to use this material as you move forward in the course. It could be part of it could be part of your exploration project or it, it could be something that you write about in your learning autobiography coming up so once again i'd like you to to read an excerpt from one of these these are on in the electronic reserves but i'm not going to check on that so it's it's truly the honor system and you know i always like especially moving forward if somebody makes reference to this in a discussion forum, but it's not going to be this discussion forum. PowerPoint, YouTube video, and Women Ways of Knowing. This was a fascinating study. It's a little old at this point, but it basically documented how a group of women went from what was considered silence, meaning they have no voice, to voice. And I, I can tell you that this book impacted my professional practice, and it has impacted it for the last 20, probably 22, 23 years, including I developed a program, multi-state program on connecting women landowners with each other because it was really based upon a lot of the information that was done in this research study. So I'd like you to participate in the discussion questions. They are on feminist pedagogy and women ways of learning. By the way, I don't know if she'll have time, but Danella, who has been chiming in on our discussion forum, she is, to me, somewhat an expert in this sub subject. So maybe we'll be fortunate that she can chime in a little bit during this week's discussion. But once again, um, any, any questions specifically on feminist ped pedagogy, including she, she just put together for another class a PowerPoint presentation on that. If you really are interested in more information, I, I suggest that you reach out to Danella, and I'm sure she would be happy to share some information that she's working for, working on in another class. So what do we have due? Due today is Saturday the 4th, so due tomorrow by midnight, we have the learning reflection paper due. Any question on that, please let me know. Discussion questions, women ways of knowing and the feminist pedagogies. Here are the prompts and the questions. And then one last thing, spring break. Spring break officially starts on the 13th and it runs through the 19th. Um, no work is expected at this point, but that, that truly is up to you. If you feel like you're behind or you want to get caught up on certain things, please um, take the opportunity to do it during spring break. But I'm not going to be checking our Brightspace page. That said, if you have any questions, you need some help with something, please let me know. I'm, I'm certainly here to help. The class starts back on Monday, March 20th. Here's the week number nine advanced organizer. Keep on going down. I'll show you the materials. We have a PowerPoint present and a YouTube video. 
on the materials in week eight, an advanced organizer for week nine, significant points from chapter 11, and then the article. So you don't have to search for it. You just only have to do is click on this and it will pull up the PDF. LRP, this is the learning reflection paper. It's due tomorrow. If you need a day or so extra, please let me know. Um, I, I wouldn't overthink this assignment. This is truly a reflection paper. So if you're sitting at home, you're looking out at the snow, trying to finish it, uh, I think a few people have already s submitted it, but if you haven't, you have time. And if you need an extra day or so, let me know. We can work that out. And then we have the discussion forum for week number eight. So that is kind of week number eight material. When we get back, the week starts, or week number nine starts after spring break, which is we will start back the class on March 20th. So I did want to make some comments on the discussion forums. I, I graded everybody's discussion for their participation in weeks one through four. I do apologize for being a little late in this. Uh, there were a few people that had reached out to me that were, that were behind and they wanted to get caught up. So I was, I was allowing them that opportunity. So you will see that um, everybody did a great job with this. The, you, the, the difference between just say a 24 and a 25 for the first portion of this class, weeks one through four, I really am pretty lenient on what I'm looking for in the discussion post. This is for many people in their first adult and higher ed class. And what I'm looking for is active participation, meaning in weeks one through four, we had discussion posts. I, I asked everybody to do an original post. In week number one, we had more than one discussion post. But in weeks two, three, and four, we had one discussion post. So I asked everybody to do their initial post and then commenting, commenting on others. And if you got just say a 24, it just means that you missed discussing something with other classmates. Or maybe you, you had a repeated pattern where you did your discussion post, original post, and then for two of the remaining two of the four weeks, you just commented on one person. To me, that indicates that somebody is really not that engaged with the discussion. Um, but once again, the difference between 24 and 25 in the first four weeks of class really has to do with that. I'm looking for participation. As we move forward, any time that you can embed a quote, some reference to the material, something that a classmate might have said, that would be extremely helpful, and it'll certainly help that this portion of the grade moving forward. But once again, the discussion forums for this class are uh, worth 100 points out of 350 each one of the quarters. In this case, weeks one through four is worth 25 points. So if you got 24, it just means that you were missing something. If you got 25, it just means that um, you, you hit all of the all of the things that you were supposed to, and you got full grade for that. I'm a little less lenient moving forward in the course because I'm looking for more connections to the readings, the materials, and actual quotes, just say. Okay, that's enough out of me. Hopefully this video will go out today if, if the power doesn't go out, but I hope you have a great um week number eight and a fabulous vacation or school break if you have any questions during the school break please let me know it's it's i mean i still do check on bright space but i also um i also am not as attentive as i usually am one thing on the learning reflection paper i'll have those graded by hopefully by the time that you go on spring break and if not it will be shortly thereafter Okay, everybody, hope you have a, a great week eight, week eight and a fabulous spring break. We'll see you when the class restarts on March 20th. Bye.